It's Coach Ride from Functional Flex Team FFLEX. I'm here in the office today. I want to talk for a second about something that's really important for anybody that's trying to achieve any goals in life. Okay, so you and your health and fitness goals, but you and every goal you have in life, this applies right here. So there's an old saying, an old quote that a lot of people go by that says you are the sum total of the people that you spend the most time with. So like your five closest friends, your five closest family members, whoever you spend the most time with and associate with, that is going to dictate who you are and where you're going to be and what you're going to be able to achieve in your life, okay? So for example, there's an analogy. It goes... Um, I'm going to butcher it, but I'm going to give you my own version instead. So if you, if I, let's say I want to run a race, okay? Right here, Coach Ryan, you guys know that I don't run races. I don't do sprint track shit. I don't do any of that, okay? But if I want to go run a race and I gathered my five friends that I know are slower than me, that are not as good as me, I would win the race every fucking time if I went and ran with them. Because I'd be the leader of that group because I'd be more fit by default because they were less in shape than me. So I'd win the race every single time. But, however... If I went and ran with top world Olympians, people that were so fast, people that were killing the game, the top of the fucking chain, I would come in dead last every single time I ran with them, right? There'd be no doubt that I'd be dead last. But overall, my time would be better. I'd be faster running with them, even though I'd be in last place, than I would running on my own with my friends in first place. So the idea is that you need to surround yourself with people that are holding you up, people that are pushing you to the next level, people that are taking you to a higher level of everything that you didn't even think you could possibly attain, right? You don't want to be hanging around with people that you're the best in. You want to be with your friends, your family, whoever, and spending all the time with them if you're at the top of your game, okay? And this goes to say that you're not going to ever be at the top of your game if you spend too much time with people like that. Now, throughout life, you guys, it is easy to understand that you're going to transition in and out of friend groups. You're going to transition in and out of groups of people. And as your goals grow and as you grow, there's going to be people that get left behind. And the point is, it's not about those people. It's not about the people that don't hold up to par. They can't support you in your goals and dreams, whatever. Everybody does their best. So it's not that they're purposely doing it. It's not that they're trying to hold you back or they're holding you down. But they are by default because you're in that circle with them. So what you guys want to do is you want to make sure that you align yourself and you pay attention to things that are going to push you to a higher level, all right? And you know what? Dare I say that this correlates over to social media, right? A lot of people follow a lot of different people. A lot of people pay a lot of attention to different people. And that, honestly, is probably more powerful at this point in this day and age than the five people that you spend the most time with. I'm going to say the five people that you pay, uh, pay the most attention to is going to shape who you are and what you're able to do. And this can literally be the difference between if you get to your goals, if you get your dreams, if you win that show, if you lose that weight, if you fucking build the muscle you want to build or get as strong as you want to get. It's going to be strictly dictated by the standard you hold yourself to. So for me, you guys, I only want to surround myself with people that push me to a new higher standard. And I try to be the higher standard for the people that I coach, the people that I lead, and people that I know need that type of support to get to the next level. So what you guys need to do, if you're having a hard time in your life, you feel like you're held back, you feel like you're at a plateau, you feel like you don't know where you're at, you need to review the people that are around you and the things that you pay attention to. Go check out your five most recent texts that you have. See if those people are doing better than you. If they're not doing better than you, then you need to review that. Are they pushing you to a new level? If they're not, then you need to review that. Are you getting somewhere else because of these people? If they're not, then you need to review that. And the same goes for the people that you follow, the people that you pay attention to on Instagram and social media and whatever. Are they doing better than you? Are they pushing you to a new level? Are they making you work harder? Are they making you do more? Are they making you think that you are got a lot of work left to do? Or do you feel like when you look at these people, you're better than everybody? Because if you look at anybody and you think you're better than them, you need to level the fuck up. You need to go to a new level. You should be the person that is doing the least, that is as, like, as bad as they could possibly be in any room. You should not be the best person in any room you stand in if you want to actually be the fucking best. And that's the truth. So I advise you guys to, you know, check this shit out, pay attention to it, review it, keep that in the back of your head. And if you have to kill off things, if you have to move on from things, if you have to unfollow some people or stop being friends with certain people, you can do that. That's perfectly acceptable. People get trapped in their own mindset and they think they can't unfollow someone because they're going to get mad. Nobody gives a fuck. 
okay? You gotta do what's best for you, you gotta move forward in life, and you gotta achieve your damn goals, because at the end of the line, you're only gonna regret the fact that you didn't take the chances to get where you need to be. And nothing's gonna matter, none of this Instagram shit, none of these friends that you have now, none of that shit is going to matter at the end of the line. What matters at the end of the line is if you stay true to you, and you only stay true, true to you and true to the world by doing the best and becoming the best version of yourself. So don't fuck around with this shit, you guys. Review this, pay attention to this. This can literally be the difference of if you achieve every goal that you set forth or you don't at all. Coach Rye is out.